What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be sorting out the mirror on my car. Uh, this one fell off but luckily I was able to save it before it went missing completely. Before it fell off completely. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sticking it back. So what we need is obviously the mirror. Um, a wet cloth. A scissor and some double sided tip. So, the first step we're going to be doing is we're going to be cleaning the back of the mirror. We're going to be cleaning the back of the mirror to get all this old adhesive off so it can stick nicely to the to where we're going to be sticking it. I'm just going to dry it off here on the cross at the bottom. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to be sticking our double sided tip on the mirror. Just cut the piece off. So I don't know if you guys have any specific ways of sticking double sided tip, like specific directions like this or like this to get the best stick, I don't know. I just do it this way. the last bit of double sided tip <laughs> okay hopefully that does the job and then what we want to do now is clean this off uh, so that the double sided tip sticks to it nicely just give it a good wipe down so what we want to do now is just pull the other side of the double sided tip off Then make sure it's lined up properly. Oops, yeah. We're going to want to, oh no, stick it. That's perfect. Just apply some pressure. So now we have that sorted out. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to give you guys a walk around of my car. Uh, guys, before I take you on a walk around of my car, I would just like to say, uh, see this is the driver's side one, it's gone. I need to go to a space to see if they can, if they have one, or I need to go somewhere. I don't know if PG Glass cuts mirrors, but I need to go to them to find out if they cut, and then yeah, see if I can get one. But guys, it really doesn't, doesn't take that much time to just feel if your mirror is loose or not in the mornings before you drive or whatever just a tip um, because this is actually a really big inconvenience I know it's a small thing but it's a big inconvenience to not have a mirror while you're driving and it is kind of unsafe so guys rather just check if your mirrors are <laughs> still there and if the, if the adhesive is still holding so guys this is my 2012 Polo Vivo it is a 1.4 I obviously um, and I don't know what this color is called but it is a silver or I don't know it, the, the color is never silver silver it's not a pure silver on the exterior I've done a, bump, a bumper flush I think that's the most obvious one uh, from the front of the car bumper flash and at the bottom I have polo 6 grill put in and small number plate just for that little touch because I don't like the look of the big number plate here in the bottom grill it just doesn't look right to me and then the 
So I think this was my first mod to the car and I think it made the biggest difference. Obviously the car is lower than normal. It is on blue line coilovers and yeah I really like the ride of it. Um, it's not bouncy, it's not too bouncy, it is bouncy. Yeah it is kind of bouncy but it's not too bouncy. It is comfortable and I've been driving the car uh, on coilovers for two years now I think and I haven't had any issues. Um, so my friend's friend wrapped the roof. One night it was a rush job, I think it was written like two hours or so. Uh, I went to him after work and then I, he, he didn't know he was going to wrap my roof and then he ended up doing it. And then something else I added was a smash and grab. The tint, it's a really simple mod. It's not even a mod, it's something that every car needs I think. Um, that was also something we did to the car. And then something else that was done to the car, it has a full 50 more free flow from power flow. Um, gives the car a really nice sound. And I think I'll give you guys some sound clips of that shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed the sound clips of the exhaust um, so that's basically the exterior of a car I yeah it's a really really basic look but it's a simple and clean it's not there's not too much going on in the car um, I do have a set of wheels that I'm going to put on I, I have the wheels I just need to buy tires for them um, and I think that's gonna work really well with the color of the car um, so yeah stay tuned for that but now let's move on to the interior so inside we don't really have much going on the only thing I do have is this double done Phillips deck uh, and it's been working really well since I got it I also got this from a friend he had a polo uh, but he has a cheetah now a bag cheetah so yeah this has been serving its purpose it's been doing what it's supposed to do and yeah Sorry if, the interior, if it's really dirty and dusty in here because I haven't really cleaned since the lockdown started. That's the one. Guys, always wear your masks. Um, what else do I have? I really don't have much. I also have a 12 uh, energy audio sub and amp. I don't know what the what. I don't know, I don't know anything about sound. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I know this is a bass controller and that's as much as I do know. <laughs> So now, so now that you guys know what I have going on with the car that I like, I'm also going to address the issues or faults on the car, but I'm just going to tell you guys what is wrong, like what are the, the biggest issues at this point. So number one, this car needs coil packs because it does miss sometimes, but only when you start it, when it's cold. Uh, Number two would be this crack in the windscreen. I don't know if you guys can see it. It goes that way. It used to be a small chip right in this corner. And then over time, it moved all the way up here. So, up here. So I don't, it's not really a pressing issue, a pressing matter, but it is something that needs to be sorted out. Um, and I think that's about it for the car. Uh, for the issues on the car that I can think of at this moment um, I'm not sure if I missed anything but yeah there isn't anything else that's alarming on the car um, but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for staying tuned till the end of the video thank you for subscribing thank you for liking my videos I really 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 appreciate the support I hope you guys are looking forward to the upcoming content because there are a lot of exciting things happening well exciting in my life I don't know if you guys are gonna find it exciting or interesting but thank you so so much for the support